a moment in your bones when We're advisorfi.com. Welcome to Zero Bulk Delete Invoice Edition. We'll be screaming now we can be We have this old QuickBooks disc, and we have this bat. Let's help these guys get up in the cloud. You're welcome, QuickBooks. Now let's go check this out. All right, let's get to work, Zero users. Do you use Zero.com for your accounting, but you use a third-party application that Zero integrates with seamlessly to do all your invoicing like Sin7 for your inventory, or Harvest for your project management invoices, or Shopify for your e-commerce invoices. And when you're testing out these apps, they dump down into your Zero a bunch of approved invoices that you don't want to have. So now you have to go inside your Zero and void your approved invoices one by one by one. Well, I found a sweet trick for you here at AdvisorFi.com on today's Zero Bulk Delete Invoice Edition. First things first though, before we get started, you must download the Firefox browser in order for this to work. Once you download this, you open it up and you download the Selenium IDE plugin that is meant for Firefox browser. Then once you've done that, you're going to go and log in to your Zero account through the Firefox browser. Now in order for you to activate that Selenium IDE plugin, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Control Shift S on a Mac or you're going to hit Control Alt S on a PC. And then once you hit that function, it'll pop up the Selenium IDE plugin that's meant for your Firefox browser. And in here, we're going to tweak a couple settings in order for this to rock out. I have actually a demo account right here in front of me called Sweet Mama Jamma because this is going to be sweet indeed. So in the Selenium IDE application, we're going to go to the options and we're going to hit options again. Then it's going to show me all the general functions here. We don't mess with anything other than the second option where it says default timeout value. You want to make sure that's set to 100,000. Then right underneath that where it says Selenium Core Extension, you're going to hit Browse and you're going to find an extension in a zip file that I have instructions for down below in the description called go to underscore cell underscore IDE dot JS or JavaScript. You're going to hit Open. Once you've done that, just make sure remember base URL is the only thing checked, then you hit OK. Now in the Selenium IDE program, we're going to follow, after this, we're going to hit File and we're going to add test case. We're actually going to find a text file called void all sales invoices. This is the text file that we want. We want to check that. We hit open and it's going to basically throw in a bunch of commands right here in the Selenium IDE program. We're going to, we're going to click the sixth command down which is called click and the target is called link equal void. Once you've done that, then the only thing you need to do right underneath this little function here is put in the invoice number that you want Selenium IDE to start to start voiding the invoices. In my case, I'm just going to enter one, but if you want to start voiding invoice 49 going forward, then that's fine. If you want to invoice, you know, uh, 003000 going forward, then that's that's what you want to put in, 003000. In my case, I'm going to hit one. Now that I've actually have my Selenium IDE all settings all laid out. I'm actually going to go into my zero account that's right here. I'm actually going to go under accounts, sales, and I want to go find all my approved invoices that are in my zero that I actually don't want. So I have 11 ap approved invoices awaiting for payment. I'm going to click into this so I can see all 11 invoices awaiting for payment. And so I see 11 invoices awaiting for payment. Crucial step here you need to understand. This Selenium IDE program will not work on approved invoices that have partial payments applied to them. It only works on approved invoices that have no payments applied to them. So just be mindful of that. If you're trying to get rid of invoices or approved invoices that have partial payments, you must delete the partial payment. So now that I'm here in the screen, all we're going to do is we're going to hit play on the Selenium IDE program. And it's going to run the macros all on my Firefox browser. I'm actually going to have a little coffee while it does its thing. Ah, that's really good coffee. And this is a sweet macros. All right, guys, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Enjoy. <laughs>